Hello, Namna Tzibus that watch us. For reasons that we still don't know, maybe today because you like Alex Gonic, I don't know, but for some reason you always tune into this channel. Um, I'm here with Kiana, you know, ladies first, I'm sorry. No, Kiana? Please. And um, Alex Skolnick, who drinks coffee, and we don't have coffee today, which sucks balls. You can live vicariously. Y that. Yes, we will. We will do that. And um, we thought we play board games with musicians here at the base camp, because uh, what else is there to do, right? Not much, I guess. And it actually yeah. was not easy to find board games in Germany that don't have complicated rules and everyone knows. I couldn't even buy Scrabble because it's German Scrabble. Oh, yeah, that would be and, uh, and a lot of these games were, you know, in German. So uh, it didn't leave a lot of choices. So yeah, you, with, you would have an advantage with yeah. German Scrabble. We're going to play uh, a Battleship later with Phil X. Oh, fun. It's going to be interesting. I don't know what this is. By you don't way. know this game? No, what is this game? Really? I really don't Seriously? know this game. I, I mean, I, this is dice. <laughs> These this, almost look like chess This pawns. is actually one of the... <laughs> if you had chess, I would, I would know. Um, if you had checkers, I would know. I, I think don't know in what English, it's is. actually called Sorry. Oh, okay. And it's, I, it's, a, it's a very, very famous, well, kids game, kind of. Well, here's the thing. You gotta I go, missed you, out on you gotta I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Um, Thank you. I'll be here all week. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> you got to get your yellow guys all the way around. Okay. And then in here. Okay. To get out, you have to get a six. Okay. And then you just, uh, you know, roll the dice every time it's your turn. Actually, when you get a six, you can go again. Yes. So when you get a six, you go okay. again, and you just have to get your guys all the way around. But I think if you have three sixes, you have to go back in there. Really? Yeah, I don't know that rule. Oh. Okay. So Pay six. no attention to her. <laughs> six gets you we out. like six. And six gets you to uh, uh, roll the dice again, and then you just go around which guy you choose to, um, to move is up to you and of course if i get on the on a, a spot where you guy already is you go back okay and it, it uh, can it can get messy okay so six is our friend yes Messages. good well then you start there you go okay so what a roll the roll the roll, die roll the dice and you have to get a six otherwise you're screwed but you can roll three times Really? Okay, good. Okay, so three times. I got a two. Yeah, nothing. You can't do anything with it. You have to first get out with okay. a six. Okay, understood. Almost. That's halfway there. That's three. <laughs> See, I'm, and I'm making progress, too. I started, yeah, you're getting there. I started with two, two, which is two-thirds of six. <laughs> Kiana's really bad at math. Don't get angry. Don't get angry because you don't want to that. think that. <laughs> I, I really don't like maths and I suck at it. <laughs> you look very smart now with your she glasses. Is. She is. And I'm sure you're smart. I am, but I just don't know math. Yep. Okay. This is very, it's very basic math. Yeah. We'll work <laughs> that, on your math. That, that, that I did get. Okay, good. I know that much. Oh, yeah, and now I'm going yeah. digressing. So, not me. Okay. You can't do anything. Oh! That's not how you do it. Four. No. 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 And. Come on. Yeah, we'll be here, uh, we'll here for a long time. Yeah, I think so, too. Nope. Yes. Nope. Yes. And you again. This, this, is, this is a great game. This is amazing. This is, this so is much fascinating. Fun. This, is this is really cool. Great idea, guys. There's a lot of strategy involved. <laughs> Statistically, we could just be here the whole time. Yes. Yes. Rolling and yeah. never, yeah. 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 never well, making while, any while, while we do that, maybe I ask them some questions about music and stuff. Um, so on my channel, what we do is there's a lot of gear and uh, primarily pedals. And we talk about guitars and amps. Okay. I started with pedals, but now the companies like me because, you know, I get the clicks. So they send amps and guitars, which is nice. Nice. Um, especially the new master build Warwick famous, famous guitar that's three being ones. built downstairs. I got three ones. <laughs> I think, right? Did that's, I get three ones? Or that's, or well, yeah, that's like almost a, like as good as a six, right? Yeah. <laughs> what the... Or you got a two and... I'm oh, going somewhere. Man. I'm going places wow, here. And now that. I can go again. Yeah. One, two. There you go. Oh, okay. I see. Okay. So, um, but I want to start... Yeah, we'll yes. make a headway here. Yes. Oh, one. Um, on the way here, Kiana and I, we prepared, we listened to some testament, like old okay. stuff. Because frankly... I obviously was always aware of Testament, but I've never, that's always a little bit, little bit on the harder side for me. Okay. And um, 
we listen to the trio. But then uh, yesterday, Alex actually gave us this thing, which I wasn't aware of. I'm going to put this right here. Can you guys see that? Yes, you can. Planetary Coalition. Thank you for interrupting the game because I'm making no progress. <laughs> you guys have both uh, excelled. I mean, you know, he's he's pretty much sucking right here, so we we yes. gotta we gotta plug his CD a little bit. Something that he did well on. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> yes, good see point. Good point. Works. So uh, wait a second. Four. One, two, three, four. There you go. We're at least moving somewhere. So where was I? I'm going to say here, that makes more sense. <laughs> so what uh, Alex did here apparently is just work with all these people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there are uh, over two dozen people on there. Holy crap. Um, everybody's from a different region. Um, every song is a different lineup. And um, a couple of them are duets. Um, most of them are ensembles. Like, Small ensembles. There's a, uh, the largest ensemble is about a half a dozen or a little more people. Some instrumentals. Some have vocals. In yeah, it in, I was, think it was Portuguese. Was it Portuguese? Um, no, no, no. The vocals. There actually there aren't any words. This oh, is interesting. Okay. Those are just uh, syllables. Okay. Um, and it, it was it was planned as an instrumental CD. I've always wanted to do an acoustic album. Um, I've always wanted to do um, an album with international flavors, and this is obviously not what people know me for. But you know, um, when I'm not on stage, you know, playing through like, walls of amplifiers, I'm actually I'm I'm playing a lot of different types of music uh, with different types of musicians, and I've always loved international acoustic music, whether it's. Uh, Django Reinhardt, mm -hmm. you know, is one of my, my earliest favorites, or um, you know, flamenco, especially flamenco influenced um, fusion stuff like um, Strunz and Farah, McLaughlin, Demiola. Mm -hmm. um, so you know, I knew I wanted to do an acoustic record. I knew I wanted to do an international record, and I had this time in 2014. So I just said, you know what, I'm just going to go all out. I'm going to do the you know the mother of all records. I'm going to do my acoustic debut and I'm going to do this international. And it just ended up, I kept finding more and more great people and it ended up being like the length of a, a double LP. It's what, what I love about it is it goes, oh, you have to roll the dice. Um, I do. It goes, uh, I rolled once. So I'm, it goes two. in all these cultural corners. It goes all around the world and it seems like, <laughs> yeah. This is going well. Uh, well. How do you guys... <laughs> it's not easy. To... It's not rigged. Um, and trust me, once you get out and someone kicks you back in, you, you're pissed off. That's why it's called sorry. Well, five is not okay. a six, Alex. <laughs> All right, that doesn't count. <laughs> Two fives. <laughs> Three fives. Now, what? what are the chances of that? See, I'm getting all this <laughs> it's, rare. I have to that, be that, that should be an achievement by itself. Yeah, that <laughs> too. Um, so, but what I, what I really think is you adjust it to the styles. You're not, right, it's, right. it's not like here is me, Alex Skolnick, playing what he does, and then the other guys do what they do. But you actually, it even sounded like the instruments you were using. I mean, it's not, it's not all just acoustic guitar. Right, right. There's you know, more more ethnic instruments in there. Oh yeah, I mean, well, it's most, I'm mostly playing acoustic mm -hmm. guitar, but I'm playing um, steel string guitar on a lot of it and nylon string on some of it. And then there's a couple odd guitar-like instruments mm -hmm. I'm playing. But I'm also um, interacting with musicians that are, some, some of whom are playing um, guitar-like instruments. Uh, the, one of the songs with vocals mm -hmm. is um, an African musician um, Yakupa Sasoka, and he's from Mali, and he's playing a uh, kora, mm -hmm. which is the, almost like a um, it's a harp-like instrument, but made from gourd. Mm -hmm. and yeah, I've seen one. You've yeah. seen them, yeah, they're beautiful, and um, he's amazing, and he you know, he just does this improvisational singing on top of it, and it's beautiful. And um, when we interact with each other, I just you know I immediately hear things that I think will sound good. 
I don't think it would be as interesting if I sort of took my my you know giant wall of amps and distortion no. pedals and you know okay I'm gonna shred over all, no it's like <laughs> But I, that, I want to is, really like speak to this language and have, have a, a dialogue. But when I listen to this, and we were, we were saying in the car, this is an album that someone made who doesn't want to stand still. Mm -hmm. And this is, I think, for oh, me, cool. why I have like the, the highest respect for what you've done. Mm -hmm. Obviously, there's metal, there's testament, right. huge success, and you're known for that. But then he said, no, you know what, there's, there's a little bit more in music, and you can actually not play with distortion, and you're right. doing... It, like one of the emperor disciplines, which is, you know, the jazzy fusion stuff, right. which, and I, I went to Berkeley College of Music, mm -hmm. and I can't cool. play jazz, because mm -hmm. that's a little bit too difficult for me. Um, I never really dealt with it. Well, it's, so, not, it's not for everybody. Yeah. I mean, uh, I, I, I love jazz. I'm, I'm a huge fan of Mike Stern. Yeah, me too. It's in, insane. I'm really looking forward to Dennis Chambers in about an hour. Oh, yeah. That's I rode gonna, over here with him. That's, that's going to be fun. Got um, some great stories. Just And... And, but still, this is like, okay, I, I know how to play a hollow body in clean now, now I want to go further. No. Because, frankly, and please correct me if I'm wrong, this is not an album that you're going to make shitloads of money with. No. <laughs> no. I mean, even... Alex, On the contrary. <laughs> but I, had, I had some help. I did, yeah. I tried, yeah, I did my first uh, ever fan funding mm -hmm. situation with um, a group called Artist Share. Which was actually it was around before Kickstarter, um, but they they're selective about who they work with, and it's all uh, classical and and jazz, pretty much, and some some great names too. Um, they've even partnered with um, Blue Note and mm -hmm. done projects dedicated to uh, Gil Evans and Jim Hall. So it's just like this super classy company to me, and that was inspiring as well. And um, it was. It, it it helped. I it, it's hard to fan, especially because everybody's doing it. I don't know if I would do it again because mm -hmm. you got you have to constantly give updates. Uh, you have to you know you make promises to people for their contributions, and you have to, at different levels, and you have to deliver. And it's it's very difficult. Um, the good the upshot of that is you you know we ended up with all this stuff documented so that mm -hmm. there's some great um video footage oh that would be really interesting to yeah. see yeah and there's uh, some some great clips online uh the artist who did the cover of maddie samadar she's a, a great architect as well and did all the videos and just really kind of captured the um the you know captured the music really well and um but it wasn't it wasn't easy, and yes, you, you're right. You're not going to make a lot of money off of this. Um, this was done because you wanted to make that next step. You wanted to learn. You wanted to play with these musicians. You wanted to yeah. to see, you know, push yourself. Purely for the go, love go, of go to art. the next level. Yeah, and, and the love of the music. And um, I, you know, I almost sometimes almost wish I could be happy just doing one thing. <laughs> Or just being a passive listener, but I, I can't, you know, and also, I, you know, I put so much work into um, learning this instrument and being able, you know, this technique and music theory and all this stuff. And it just, it felt, it felt wrong to limit it to this one style that I'm known for, uh, for a type of music that I was into when I was a teenager, which I still like, but it doesn't represent my, all my listening tastes. Yeah. I can still... I still enjoy the performance uh, performances. I watch friends bands, some great uh, bands that uh, I like to see at you know, European metal festivals. Mm -hmm. But it's not a hundred percent of my listening. But it's not even a majority of my my listening. Uh, I list, and I want to be able to play some of the music I listen to. Well, I I've, I've done a whole bunch of progressive rock albums mm -hmm. with James Labrie. Sebastian Bach, uh, Steve Walsh from Kansas. Mm -hmm. And so people knew me as like the, the progressive rock guy. I like personally pretty, I mean, it's, it's fun and I can do it. Yeah. And it's challenging harmonically, rhythmically, but it's not me. It's, yeah. It doesn't define, doing progressive rock and metal doesn't define me as a musician. Yeah. Um, I love singer songwriter music. And as I told Phil yesterday, who had to ask me three times, my favorite band is Hanson. And yes, the guys from Umbab. Oh, Umbab, yeah, of course. But there's more to them than Mbop, yeah. obviously. And well, I know that people who... I never got into them. <laughs> uh, no, sorry, but I know that people who like them really, really like them. And they, they said, you know, there is something there. And 
they're great songwriters. They're very, they, uh, it's it's just a cool band, mm -hmm. and and I have respect for their for their craft. Mm -hmm. um, but of course, if you tell your progressive metal listeners that you like Hanson, yeah. that's a problem. In, in interviews, like for Metal Edge and stuff, I lived in the in the states. Um, they asked me, and I was always honest, what do you like? I said, I really like Celine Dion. And um, metal fans do not want to hear that. Yeah, yeah. They that, really, that's a tough one. They really uh, don't want to. She's a great singer. Well, she's got a hell songs. of a voice. Yeah. A hell of a voice. Unfortunately, with pop, a lot of pop music, you know, now as with even then, um, there, there's just a lot of that. It's just taking a fabulous voice, but then just dressing it up in this music that if it didn't have that voice it's just i would i wouldn't want to and you know what i i'm not going to knock uh what anybody else like likes to listen to sure um unless they like nickelback just kidding uh, <laughs> um but you know it's mariah carey's got a fabulous voice too mm -hmm. um you know even produced by you know narda michael walden like you know, the guy on Jeff Beck Wired and Mahavishnu Orchestra. Yeah, you know, so um, yeah, Whitney Houston had a great voice. Um, but with a lot of them, Beyonce has a great voice. I just don't. I don't understand why they have to do music like that. that exactly. Just, it because appeals. they're not in charge of the songwriting or the production. They're just yeah. the voice. And I understand. And that that's the sad part. It becomes part of a, a machine or yeah. whatever. But um, it, it, yeah, it, it, it is frustrating. It's a, it's a different kind of making music than we do. Occasionally, though, you'll get to hear somebody, you know, in a really in a different context. You know, Christina Aguilera, for example. Um, you know, she did some music with Herbie Hancock, and it was did she fabulous? Yeah, okay. on his she yeah he had uh, guests. On, I forget which record it is. Um, it's one of the more recent ones. Mm -hmm. And, she can sing. And he said, you know, she's one of the best singers I've ever worked with. And that's this, high is, this is a good guy that's, you <laughs> no, know, worked with crap. Like Sarah Vaughn, you know. Um, so, you know, a lot. And also, if you, if you hear Lady, Lady Gaga by herself mm -hmm. uh, and a piano, it, it's amazing. But so I, I can I can get behind that. I'm sure if I heard Celine Dion mm -hmm. on her own. Or just with a live band, mm -hmm. I would be blown away. But I, yeah, just the the, the production oh, sometimes God, is trash. Why? Yeah, why? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but all right, it makes money, and uh, you know, I guess some people you know know more about. I I obviously don't know much about that because I'm doing records <laughs> like this. But you know, it's but it's, it's go, coming back it to it, it makes me happy to do this. So. And that's the thing: you make music because you like making music. Yeah. There obviously money isn't an issue nowadays. Making money in music isn't an issue, which is no. why I don't make music anymore and talk to people on YouTube. Um, but I have the highest respect for someone who wants to go further, uh, learn more about the instrument, no. discover different uh, uh, music. Highest respect for ACDC, for example. But I could no. never imagine playing exactly the same four or five chords in different rhythms and combinations, which they're doing incredibly well, guys, absolutely. But doing this for, what, 40 years or even oh, yeah. longer, and just never saying, can, can we break it up a bit? What can we do? Sure. No, it's, it's, it's exactly the same thing, which is fun, and they're doing it very well, but it wouldn't be me. Yeah, I want to yeah. discover something else about myself on the next album, and then go in a totally different, different direction on the next album. Yeah, and I think that works for some people. You know, ACDC record, you know, you, you, it's a very defined thing, what that is. And you want that to be what it is. You don't want it to deviate at all. Um, the, you, you know, I, I think, you know, when I, the band I'm best known for, Testament, I, I try to steer it different directions when I can. It doesn't always work. Mm. Uh, but I also know, you know, you can't make it too different. Yeah. Um, you know, I could throw a fit and then try to pressure the guys into trying stuff completely different. But then they wouldn't be happy um, and the fans wouldn't be happy. So, you know, I, I try to make it not, you know, I try to add a stamp to it and make it yeah. interesting. But, you know, I, 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 that's just one of the reasons I do my own records because then I can do what, what I want to do and do stuff that sort of represents where, where I'm at at a, at a certain time. You just put on a different hat. Yeah, and I think, you know, what you're saying about the 
being known for the progressive rock thing. You know, Mike Portnoy is a good friend of mine, mm -hmm. and we, we have a project called Metal Allegiance, and mm -hmm. we wrote a whole record together. And he, yeah, he got completely known as this prog guy, and he's obviously great at it. Yeah. That's obviously a part of what he. But it's, it's so not a hundred percent of where he's coming from. He so has, I'm really he, glad he was able to diversify. He can pull years. back and just groove if he wants to. Yeah. obviously, sometimes. There's still little things that come through, if it's like a hi hat pattern where he's just like, does a nice little thing and then, yeah. but where where you can can tell that he's still a little bit in that mindset. But he still make, he makes it work. Yeah. And I th I think um, I don't you know I don't know that much about you know what you know dream the whole dream theater situation, but I know that you know he couldn't have kept on you know in. Being there and still, and you know diversifying was, the way he's been able yeah, to. Yeah, it was a it was a machine. Dream yeah. Theater was okay. Now we do the two. Now we do the album. Now we do the uh, double quadruple live CD, and then we do the another. And, it, it, and it, good it, for that. And to be successful at it and doing it, that kind of music, I mean that that's amazing. You know, you got to. But it might not be that. musically fulfilling. Yeah. Right. If it's not, for, and if, I think if it's not for some, you, you kind of have to have to be honest and. Yeah, you, you need know. a six to get her out. By the way. Yeah, I haven't uh, rolled yeah, it yeah. in a while, so. Um, yeah, that's not I roll a, a lot of ones. Come on. Oh, do one more before I get it. Oh, finally. I know. No, no that's not good for me. No, you're gone. Yeah. Finally. Why? Yeah, I, yeah, because you, I you, affect yeah. you? Yeah, you? Oh, I knock you out. She's no. gone. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Take that. Yeah. <laughs> that's revenge. Oh, for yeah. her. Something. Okay. Oh, yeah. 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 What was that? Yeah, I, you, you had go. a line earlier. <laughs> okay. Oh, about the wreck. Oh, something he's good at. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. that's well. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Well, okay. you, can, you have to throw again. Okay. All right, so what happens now? So now, whatever I get, I move that many move, yeah. cases. Okay. And then if you have another six, you can get another guy out. So I move four. Yeah. I move two four. I move four from where I am. From so where I, you are. So one. one. Yep, that's it. Um, okay, another guy. Another uh, six? Yeah, that's cool. That's how I roll. Huh, I get it? That's how I roll. Oh, uh, okay. So if you get a six, oh, okay. And this I like, is interesting. Okay, I kind of... It, once once you get one, it, Once yeah. there's more players on the, on, on the board, right. it gets very... Revenge. Don't get a one, don't get a one. That's okay. Um, okay, this two more things boring. I definitely... I definitely <laughs> Two more things I definitely want to talk about. One is obviously gear, but let's mm -hmm. let's go somewhere else. What happens? Do I move one or yeah, no? you move yeah, one? You just okay. move one. Um, and that's it. Okay. Yeah. You. I don't know about any recent albums, but I know you played on a few of the first TSO albums. Um, I, I played on a couple of them. Yeah. yeah. No. I don't know what's happened there lately. I don't know if TSO is gigantic. Apparently, gigantic. Apparently, apparently they played two stages at the same time in Wacken or something. Last year. Yeah. yeah. I actually wrote an 80-page paper while I was at Berkeley about Paul O'Neill's life's work. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> uh, we, we were supposed to pick a, wow. a producer and write about what he does and how he does it. And he's more than a producer. He's a storyteller and lyricist and all right. this. So I picked uh, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, me. Oh, it's okay. It's just. Oh, I see how this works. <laughs> You're lucky. <laughs> Look at you. Mm. I could have used that the next one. Mm -hmm. Why? Why don't you get one another uh, one? Oh yeah, that would get another one out. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. What are you doing? Here. Yeah. yeah. I get another one out. Good. What's with all the sixes? I don't know. I'm getting all of his sixes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> all the ones I was supposed to get before. Okay. <laughs> um. And I always wondered. So I, I, so <laughs> now I'm like. Well, I mean, it's, it's at least something. Yeah, you can at least I'm out. Yeah. Um, I I wrote this paper. Oh, here we go. And uh, really about the musical ideas that uh, Metal Church sabotage and then TSO and did this whole analysis pretty much of his life's work up to that point. And uh, I sent it to him. Mm -hmm. And uh, he he invited me to New York for like a mixing session for the second, I think second or third years or whatever. And it was really cool. And then after that, we met a couple times backstage and he invited me. So I'm familiar with these albums. 
And what always amazed me, or the question I always had when I read your name in the liner notes was, why does Paul O'Neill get Alex Skolnick to come in the studio to play power chords on the downbeat of the measure and then have him sit there? I mean, not that it doesn't work for the albums, it's beautiful. The albums are simple, yep. but they work because of the singers and the storyline, yep. and it's moving music. But nothing against you playing beautiful power chords on the downbeat. Yes. But it's not necessarily showing off your talent, and technically I don't need a player of your caliber to do that. Right. Why do it? Just because you, you were getting along and it's just like, hey, Paul's a cool guy, let's hang out and order pizza. You know, I mean, I don't yeah, want to be mean well, about it, but... Did it's an I, interesting question. No, you got um, I have to be um, kind of careful how I answer just because yes. with, uh, with stuff like that, you know, I can say things a certain way. We don't want that. Certain websites, I'm not going to name. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. Been there, done Guitarist that. Alex Goldman, quote unquote. <laughs> yeah. and, you know, and some, some, something completely yeah. out of context. I'm not saying it's not appropriate for so, the music. It's absolutely you're... appropriate for the music. No, what you're saying is absolutely right, and I, you know what, I, I can respect that. Sorry. Hey, <laughs> um, okay. so um, I should get another one out, yeah. or? Yeah. And then get Kiana out with one, that would be good. Oh, okay, I see, I yeah, see. You seem to be good at getting ones. So. Okay. <laughs> yes, I'm a bit scared right now. <laughs> I am. Okay, let me do that. I'm in the, this is a, a, a I'm on a roll right now. <laughs> Literally. Pun, pun <laughs> intended. And then I'll answer the question. Uh, uh, four. So you can either. Well, I would use. Is would, there a I reason would, I should choose one yes, or the other? Yes, I would choose that one because otherwise you can't get another one out. Oh, I see. I see. Because you can't. So you can't knock yeah. yourself out. That you would can, make. So you block sense. yourself. I see. Oh, that's very cool. Oh, thank you. There's right. a little bit of strategy at some point, and it's it's easy enough that kids can play it, but okay. still, you know, be strategic. Okay, that was nice of you to give me advice. So. <laughs> You're welcome. All right, so I owe you one, okay. one nicety at some point. Good. Um, yeah, go ahead. Okay, so you're uh, absolutely right though, about the... Um, oh, they, she's, she's kicking you out. Oh. Darn. Well, you know oh, what? Well, that, 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 I think that, that's like five minutes or... I know, I, th I think they, they, they get mad. But you know what? Okay. That, that gets you off that question. Okay. Well, okay. I'll just I'll just say um, no. You're you're right, I, and I I respected the situation. I got some amazing experience from uh, being a part of the, the TSO. It was just um, as a performer, mm -hmm. it forces you to grow. Um, whatever I'd done with uh, with Testament or you know any anybody else, I'd never played to you know fourteen fifteen thousand people a night. Um, so just being in that situation every night, uh, it just forces you to grow and, uh, it just, I think it made me a, a much better performer. Um, but at the same time, you, you have to respect uh, what it is. It's you have not to respect a, the song. You have to play for the song. And it's also, it's not about you. It's about yes. a presentation. It's and a show. if you're yeah. cool with that, that's great. And I was cool with that for a while. But um, actually, I was always cool with it. It just got to a point where uh, the tours got longer and longer. Mm. Uh, it got to the point where there were uh, often two shows a day, and one of those and the shows were one of those shows is like the energy of three normal shows. Yeah, yeah. You know, if, it's, it's um, huge. A typical metal set is like around an hour to ninety minutes. The TSO shows at that time were close to they were between two and a half and three hours. Yeah. And then you would do the whole thing again. And then you'd have that twice the next, and you would just be so fried. And this would go on for months at a time. So you're not only planning your year around this and putting off doing record, you know, things like, like this I want to do, or working with other people. Um, but it, it just, if you're going to be in it, it gets, gets to the point, you're, you're kind of a lifer at yeah. that point. And I realized that that's... This is yeah, I mean, you want to do, the, I, you want to do other things as well. Yeah, I got the it's some great experience, made some great friends, but ultimately, I have things to say as an artist, and this is yeah. one of the things that represents that. Well, I, I obviously had way more questions, but we got to kick them out now, and uh, I'll I just ask you those I'm questions sorry. when we have coffee somewhere. 
and uh, I'll tell you later when I'm back home. How about that? Yes. How about that? Well, yeah. We, and I was able to break out. I mean, I, yeah. I, I, how are we doing? Like, I, I got two I, out. You have two out. I you think, have three. I you think, won. I, I think you won, yeah. All right. Hell yeah. Okay, good job. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to uh, Alex. Thank you so much, Alex. Uh, I'll right. ask you more questions when we have some coffee somewhere. Thanks. All right. Okay. Um, go now. Okay. Bye-bye. We don't need you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. All right, I'll see you guys later.